Hi, I would like to briefly demonstrate how to calibrate Mini VNA Tiny. This is the Mini VNA Tiny. Now, we will need to connect the Mini VNA with a laptop or PC by using USB cable. Once you have connected successfully, look for the folder of VNA. Double click to open the driver. Go to the tab of Analyzer and click Setup. Make sure that the available driver stated Mini VNA Tiny and for this computer, the available port is COM14. In order to ensure that the device is functioning properly, we will need to test the performance. Click Test. Then the status will say that the driver and port are working properly. Click Update. Once we have connected the device successfully, go to the tab of Calibration and click Create. Now you can see that there is Open, Short and Load. Firstly, remove the rig cap from DUT connector. This is the DUT, stands for Device Under Test. Once you have removed the cap, we can connect it with the open circuit kit. This is the open circuit. Connect it to the DUT connector. Make sure that it's connected tightly. And now we can click this button to read open. This graph shows that the open calibration is completed. Now, we can remove the open circuit and replace it with short circuit kit. This is the short circuit kit. Connect it to the DOT port. Once it's connected tightly, click this to read short. After a few seconds, the calibration of short circuit is completed. Now we can replace it with 50 ohm match load. Remove the short circuit from DOT port. and replace it with 50 ohm match load. Then click read load. The one pot calibration is now completed. Click Save. For this part, click Save as well. And for this file, I'll click Overwrite. Then click this green button to update. After the calibration process, we can now start our measurement.
this green button indicates the magnitude of reflection coefficient in dB, whereas this blue button indicates the phase of reflection coefficient in degree. We can now start our measurement by clicking the single scan button. The green line represents the magnitude of reflection coefficient, whereas the blue line represents the phase of 50 ohm match load. Here are the values in dB, and here are the values in degrees. In order to enable continuous scan measurement, take at free run. As you can see, this is the speed of data extraction. We can adjust this to speed up, whereas this is the average of data extraction. We can also adjust this to improve the accuracy of measurement. Thank you for your attention.